So Tyser, answer this question for me. Uh, I know you do a lot of 360 degrees and uh, currently you're changing up your content, I believe, to more uh, standard uh, Minecraft videos that isn't a 360 degree. Uh, can you talk about that and uh, I see it can affect you. Why are you doing it? So the thing with YouTube, I, I still stand by this. The most important thing when you want to grow your channel is do something different that no one else has ever done before. So being able to stand out from the crowd and be different is something that I, for the first maybe three, four years I did YouTube, I just did normal Let's Play content like everyone else. Well, I say everyone else, but like a lot of other people were doing it at the time. There was nothing special about Tice Rex on my channel, right? And when I started, I changed my content. I started doing 360 videos instead because no one else was doing them. And I was like, this is it. And more people started watching them. You get more views, you get more likes, more comments, subscribers, all that kind of stuff. My channel like took off in the last two years, right? It's done really well because I've done, I made that change to 360 and all these kind of things. But the problem is with 360 on the long term, which nobody knew about two years ago. I had no idea. And I'm sure loads of people now have no idea still who want to get into it. It pays so much less financially than a normal video like this one will. So just on the technical details with it, with YouTube, you get money, a YouTube will get money from AdSense, which is adverts before a video. And the problem is with 360 content is it makes around 60 to 70% less than this video would. So if this video got a thousand views on it, my video would, and it got a thousand views, I'd make 70% less in money than this one we're uploading would because it's 360 and it's, I've spoken to people and tried to understand why it happens and I understand the technicalities and stuff, but there's nothing that can fix it. It's kind of, you've just got to accept it or change and do other content. Um, continuing on that, I'm going on a ramble now. Um, it's just, I finished university now and it's like, I want to do YouTube full time. I want to turn it into a job. I want to turn it into a career, which I'm sure, sure a lot of YouTubers would like to do. And I'm like, I can't keep doing it with 360 at the minute just because it doesn't, I, I doesn't pay the bills. I'm back home with my parents, that kind of thing, right? And I want to be able to move out in the future and without making a big change, which, you know, it's like any business. You got to make changes to keep on going somewhere, right? It's like my invention that we're out here today. It started off so small, didn't it, Scott? It, and now... And now it's huge. It's in a huge event center. You've got to make big changes to, to just succeed, right?